We have this new tonight, heightened safety concerns in the city of Davis. Crimes in the last several months have residents wondering what they can do to curb violence in the downtown area. KCRA3's Claire Dewan is live as police seek the community's help. Claire. Well, Rob, I'm here in downtown Davis, and within two miles of where I'm standing, there have been a deadly stabbing and a rape, prompting the people here to question their safety. What did you think when you heard about the recent incidents downtown? Well, it's horrifying in any community, and when it happens in your own community, you get especially protective. So, there's about so concerned residents like Heidi Kellison gather here, hoping to improve the safety of the city. I think people are in Davis don't understand how severe it is. I think people are sweeping it under the rug mm -hmm. because they don't think it can happen in Davis. Wake up, it, it did. A 23-year-old died in September after being stabbed at the Kent Marie Thai restaurant and bar. Peter Gonzalez was out celebrating his sister's wedding weekend. And in October, a UC Davis student was raped at a park blocks away from Bistro 33, where she first met the three men who assaulted her. What we did was we did an analysis, and what we found is that our calls for service, the, the volume are the same. It's just the types of calls the, that we've been receiving in the downtown area, which have become more violent. Davis police tell us they've seen an increase in the number of assaults and weapons. Officers are now looking at new rules for downtown establishments, things like the number of seats or when they should close. Maybe it's uh, the bar staying open too late. Maybe people think this is a party town. It's not. It's a university town. This is this is a college town. A college town whose neighbors don't want the city to earn another reputation. The large issue is about what businesses are coming here mm -hmm. and what's happening with the perception of Davis being a regional destination for partying, and that that has to stop. City Council has extended the moratorium on bars and restaurants in the downtown area. It will go, stay into effect until November 2016. Live in Davis, Claire DeWine, KCR3 News. So, Claire, uh, any specific solutions from that community meeting tonight? No specific solutions, Rob. Uh, they just wanted to address concerns, talk to the community, and get their input on what police and the city should do. But they are talking. All right. Thanks a lot, Claire.